How everybody doing? Uh, getting back into videos here. What we're going to do today is a uh, big old caliber hand style. And what we're going to do is this is represent white bottom of your throat. Just make sure if you so anything that we can score here will be center of mass, which is acceptable. Uh, military doctrines, two in the chest, one in the head. But uh, what we're going to try to do is just show you that uh, at this distance, it's between 7 to 10 yards, which is where most of these encounters are going to occur. More than any about practice with the gun, getting the motor skills down, release of uh, on your straps, de-jamming the weapon, uh, all of that's going to come into play. More handguns that you can carry readily, like, of course uh, a lot of my viewers and all that's the F2, EFA 2K. And uh, what we're going to do is just show you in this situation the repetition of shooting and firing. The target's not going to be moving, but I'm just going to pull it and shoot at a, a steady pace towards the uh, center mass of the target. So we'll assume our, our first uh, encounter is going to be when we're not expecting it and uh, perpetrators at a safe distance. Now we're going to fire into the target and then assess the shots. So as you can see, I don't know how well you can see from here, we've got, we had a few go stray, but we got most of them right around where we wanted to. Which is in the center of the chest. We got a couple in the throat here. Uh, like I said, that'd be about here in this region. And then the Second type of scenario is our, we just fired a total of eight, 16, 24 rounds from our secondary tool. Uh, like I said, this is under the assumption that you're uh, on duty, whatever, and uh, your primary tool is not going to be able to be brought to play. That's where the secondary sidearm comes into play. Uh, it can be your fallback weapon. If you run out of ammunition, you've always got one more handgun ready to go with a full magazine. Uh, in this case, we could have pulled it out the bottom and threw our uh, primary secondary tool away. So that's the advantages of, you know, and that wasn't uh, world speed records or anything. Uh, actually, I haven't ever drilled with it to see exactly what my times are or what I can get out of myself. Uh, but for this caliber against uh, threats in the environment in which my viewers know what I'm talking about. Uh, this might be all that anybody's going to be wearing. The likelihood of level 3A, 2A pack body armor, anything like that's going to be very low. 
So the 918 is more than sufficient to penetrate t-shirts, like clothing like this. This isn't going to stop anything without trauma plates. So, plus, like I said, if there were trauma plates, we weren't hitting here. You've got to remember on a vest, there's ammo, there's another weapon, possibly a knife. Anything in this general direction would be above the protection of anything or the deflection of anything like that. So again, uh, shot placement is more critical than uh, gun type caliber or um, availability of ammunition in the situation. As long as you hit what you're shooting at, you don't have to worry so much about scattering for ammo in the beginning. And that's what we want to get through is the beginning of a hostile situation. 